We are now entering the most marvellous of all ages, an age which will teach us something of the intangible forces of the world about us. Perhaps we shall learn as we pass through this age that the other self is more powerful than the physical self we see when we look in the mirror. Sometimes men speak lightly of the intangibles, the things which they cannot perceive through any of their five senses, and when we hear them, it should remind us that all of us are controlled by forces which are unseen and intangible. The whole of mankind has not the power to cope with, nor to control the intangible force wrapped up in the rolling waves of the oceans. Man has not the capacity to understand the intangible force of gravity, which keeps this little earth suspended in mid-air and keeps man from falling from it, much less the power to control that force. Man is entirely subservient to the intangible force, which comes with a thunderstorm, and is just as helpless in the presence of the intangible force of electricity. Nay, he does not even know what electricity is, where it comes from, or what is its purpose. Nor is this by any means the end of man's ignorance in connection with things unseen and intangible. He does not understand the intangible force and intelligence wrapped up in the soil of the earth. The force which provides him with every morsel of food he eats, every article of clothing he wears, every dollar he carries in his pocket.